I don't know about you, but I feel sick with ever-increasing size of the project JavaScript bundle. Sometimes you add a tiny NPM library to figure out if your number is even or not, because you're a solid engineer enough to not write it yourself, and you realize that its library put half of the internet and your bundle increased by 5 megabytes. Best practices. Hey, it's Dan, and today we'll talk about must-have performance optimization technique that code elimination called tree shaking. The term tree shaking comes from the model of your application as a tree-like structure. Each node represents some dependency that provides certain functionality for your app. Over time, you get more and more dependencies, so your application may end up with a lot of unused JavaScript code. So modern JavaScript bundles are here to help eliminate it. The first essential step to make tree shaking happen is using modern import and export keywords. Most other module patterns, including CommonJS, are dynamic by definition. So it makes impossible for tools like Webpack to determine exactly what is imported and exported, and therefore which code can be safely dropped. On the other hand, ES6 import and export allowed only as a top-level declarations and must be a static strings. It allows bundlers to easily figure out which code is not being used at all and remove it. By the way, if you are using Babel to transpile your code, all your import and export statements may be transpiled down to CommonJS. It will force Webpack fail to tree shake. So solution here is to set up Babel preset env to explicitly leave ES6 modules alone. Another aspect to consider is whether your project modules have side effects. As simple as it could be, side effect is when functions modifies something outside of its own scope. Modules that take inputs and produce predictable outputs without modifying anything outside can be safely dropped if you are not using them. They are self-contained. And the latest versions of bundlers are really good at detecting those side effects. However, as we are not at 100% ECMAScript models yet, it is necessary to provide hints for Webpack on the pureness of your code. Alternatively, you can tell Webpack which files are not side effects free. So any file that is not specified will be assumed as free of side effects. If you are exporting object or class with many methods and properties, or using export default including many things at once, I have bad news for you. Your code will be either fully included or fully tree shaken. So you may end up with a lot of unused JavaScript code in your final bundle. Solution here is simple. Try to keep your exports as tiny and as simple as possible. As well as exports, you should only import components or utils you need. This specific line says import everything from the utils model and put it under namespace called utils. Bundlers will be not be able to reshake it because you could dynamically use anything within the utils. Do you really need everything? or you're just using few functions instead. Just be more explicit. And finally, if you are using Webpack, don't forget to use production mode in your configuration to make tree shaking possible. Happy shaking.